Andrea, how are you doing? My name's Bree. I wanted to go through your website quickly and just show you a couple of things I found and some ways that you guys can generate leads on your own and just get people finding you online. The first thing I saw is that your website isn't secure. So it should be HTTPS and it's only HTTP and it tells me it's not secure. So this can be an issue sometimes when I'm going to websites on certain computers or phones, it'll tell you, hey, this website isn't secure. Are you sure you want to go to it? And that can be a real issue. People will like, almost 10 times out of 10 not go to a website if their phone or computer says that. So this is a really easy fact. So you're definitely going to want to get the website secure. So going through your website, I noticed it looks all right. You've got some backing here, some things that you're a part of, some good pictures. You have your services right away. This, it does look a little bit dated here, but this is cool to see that you guys are on the news. You've got, again, some, some backing. See that you're certified, the things you do, and your information. One of the things that I'm noticing on the website is that there's not a whole lot of content on here and so you you want to have like a minimum of 1500 words and that's for two reasons one reason is for google so they like to see that minimum they have crawlers and they come through and they're reading your content they're trying to figure out what areas you serve what services you offer etc the second reason being that you want to make sure you're beating out all your competition. So if they have a thousand words and you're going to want to have 1500 words, etc. 1500 is usually a good happy medium to beat out the competition and also provide enough for Google to read. Within that content, you want to have keywords. So if someone was searching for roofing in Watsontown, Pennsylvania, and you literally had roofing Watsontown, Pennsylvania in your content a couple times, would be really relevant to that search and they would be willing to put you up higher in the results. I wanted to actually go through a search for that. So we can see these guys are running Google ads here. And this is called the map pack. So the top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of the work. But they're super easy to find and they're listed right away. I see you guys here in second, which is awesome. Great job getting in the map pack here. The websites listed below here, these are called the organics. Again, same things apply. You want to be on the front page and really in these top three because just under 50% go to the map pack and the other 50% of people will come down here and click on the first couple websites. We can see the first ones, Home Advisor and Gaff. I don't really care about them, but let's go to a local one. So we've got Turbo Metal Roof. Take a look at them. So it looks like they're actually a supplier, which is funny that they're showing up for that. So you would be much more relevant. It would be easier to get you guys ranking if you had those keywords on there, especially for some of the installation keywords because it doesn't look like they do installation. Again, they actually don't have that much content, so you probably are beating them out content-wise, but you're still going to want to get to at least 1,500 on there. So let's talk about why they are ranking. This is a paid program I use to research websites called Arifs. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what you're up against. The second thing I want to go over is UR and DR ratings, as these are really important to where you fall in the Google results. So a UR rating is essentially a trust rating of your website in Google's eyes, and a DR rating is a power rating of your website in Google's eyes. These numbers are generally raised by backlinks. We can see they have 109 backlinks coming from eight websites. And backlinks are really a shout out from another website. So let's say a blog website wrote an article about roofers, and then they listed your website URL as a company they recommended. That would be a backlink. And lastly, I want to talk about organic keywords. So these are keywords within the content that I was talking about before. They have a lot of keywords in here for different types of roof, which is good but I wanted to focus on some of the ones that were relevant and close to you. So for example, PA metal roofing, there's approximately 80 people a month who are Googling that. Metal roofing in PA, approximately 20 people who are Googling that. Metal roofing PA, approximately 30 people, right? And so we could keep going on. We got metal roof Philadelphia, 40 people. We could keep going on here. I'm not sure what exact towns you serve or if you serve the whole state. And I know that you have 
other services as well. But you can see that there's quite a bit of search volume for metal roofs alone in Pennsylvania. It's really important to be at the top because the higher up you are, the more people that are going to find your website and the more calls you're going to get without having to do any outreach, right? These people are finding you. If we look at your website's ratings, we can see your UR and DR rating are okay, but they're they're really low. Um, so these numbers typically want to be in the 20s and getting up to the 30s. So we can see your UR and DR ratings are pretty low. You have 49 backlinks coming from 15 websites. So this should be higher. These might be low quality backlinks. They're not really powerful. And lastly, if we look at your organic keywords, we can see it's pretty much all just Conklin related words, which is fine, but you're gonna wanna show up for local keywords as well, right? Like you want people who are searching for roofing companies in Pennsylvania, because that's who your clientele is. Someone could be searching Conklin roofs and they could be in California and all of a sudden that's not super relevant to you. So you're gonna wanna target those local keywords. To recap, you're gonna to wanna to get about 1,500 words on your homepage here and especially get those keywords into here. And then you're gonna to wanna to raise your UR and DR ratings through really good and powerful backlinks. I hope that this was helpful for you and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Have a great day.